So start. Okay, good, very good. Hmm. Listen carefully. In 1972, when I was only 14, we'll tell you everything. Wait, wait, eh? I'm, I'm coming to it. Eh? In 1972, I got in hypnosis very first time after seeing a stage hypnosis show by Paul Goulding. And then I started learning, practicing. Then I got my first guru in hypnosis in Kolkata from Howrah, Dr. R. K. Banerjee. He taught me basic hypnosis at that time and that gave me a lot of confidence. And then 1977, I started teaching hypnosis to make a pocket money to buy books. I love books. At that time, only books were available. So I learned hypnosis in the hardest way. I was teaching in 1977. I got into NLP in 1991 when the very first time I got a book on NLP uh, given by a friend of mine. Then I started, didn't understand well initially because it was not. Please share today's recording in the group. We'll see the recording comes very well because it is a big video. We will definitely share in the community group. Nowhere else. We'll share the link. We'll upload it in the YouTube and give you a private link there so all of you can watch it later on. Now, if everything goes well, I don't guarantee it, but my goal is to do that. Now, and then I took in my first lesson from A. Arva Modam from Chennai. He recently passed away during the COVID time. And he was the best trainer in NLP and very good friend of mine. I learned from him based in NLP. Then I got trained by Dr. Richard Brandler. He conducted a workshop in Bangalore, I think it was 96 or 97, uh, 150 parties attended. And then I invited William Horton from US to conduct a workshop in India. And uh, then he started coming regularly from other people also. And I have, I have been trained by him. And then I got my own training. I have got a lot of videos, audio, books up, and I attended many seminars myself. And then when I started learning, learning NLP and I started practicing NLP, the interesting thing happened. I started because when I was young, I was a sports person. And uh, I loved cricket. and played all kinds of sports other than studies. And then when I uh, started learning NLP, I started combining hypnosis and NLP in my workshops. Plus, I started working one-on-one, especially with the sports people. I worked with the top-level sportsmen in India, especially in golf, in cricket. And then I have worked with a boxer, power lifter, weight lifters, squash players, India number one squash player at that time. I worked with him and then he played very well. Tennis player, badminton players, snooker player. Recently, I'm working with the young snooker players and young girl who came for training. She was when he came to me, she was only 13. Now she's 14. And she is world number five under 21 category right now. I will show you some videos and clippings later on. My, I have been interviewed by ESPN, NDTV, and Golf Show TV a few times because of my golf contribution. I met Tiger Wood also personally many years back and uh, worked with the top level sportsmen, especially golf. I've become very famous. I worked with all the top players in India in golf. One of them. And they are playing super. Those of you who have done my training, they are usually. And tell you frankly, they come for hypnosis, but I use NLP more on them. And I've developed my own techniques called one technique, which is called HRA, called Hidden Resource Activation. At the end of the course, the time promise, I'll explain to you the most powerful technique, which I use it for my personal counseling sessions here in Hyderabad or in the Zoom. Now, let's come back to NLP, Neuro Linguistic Program. One more thing, I'm certified law protection trainer also. In the future, we'll be doing a free Zoom workshop on law of attraction. In the future, we'll do it in the um, workshop, uh, in the Zoom, which will be a free workshop. I'm a certified law of attraction trainer by Michael Lawson in Canada. I went there all the way to Canada to 10. Now, this is a little bit of my background, and I've created many courses. In fact, Udemy.com, I have more than 207 video courses available there. And I made more than 120,000 US dollars in royalties in the last five, six years. I have a YouTube channel where I have more than 1,300 videos, more than 100,000 subscribers there. And one special video on hypnosis has more than 10 million views. 
because it is not because of me and my technique, because I hypnotize a beautiful girl, and the views are because of that girl, not about me. So, so now let's come back about this. And, and I've created a lot of during the lockdown. I have done a lot of WhatsApp courses, created a lot of new courses, ebooks, and things available on my website. And now let's come back to NLP. NLP is Neuro Linguistic Program. Now, in this workshop, today's workshop, now I'm not talking to you as a webinar kind of thing where people come to the uh, webinar, NLP webinar, they talk a little bit, a lot of theory, and then they tell you the benefit. And later on, they sell their products or their services. Now, this is a practical workshop. I will be guiding you, giving you tools. At the end of this workshop, you will have two very powerful tools to achieve what you want in your life, which will change your complete outlook. So this is what we are going to learn here. I believe in how to. So my, those my two workshops people have attended last time. They know that everything is exercise-based and practical. Those of you attending my last two workshops, please type. If you like those exercises, please type yes, yes. So I know that you are still practicing that. So I know that you are doing it. And yes, those people who have done my workshop before, the Zoom workshop, and both the Zoom workshop, I give a lot of exercise. Yes. Balakrishna is saying yes. Anu is saying yes. That is why you are here, because it is not a theory. It is a practical workshop. Yes, self-hypnosis 60 seconds. That is a long time back you have done. In fact, we may do a 60 second self-hypnosis workshop next weekend. We are just planning, we'll announce it maybe on Monday if everything is done right. Now, this NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, is developed by Richard Bandler and John Grinder. We'll not go into the theory. Neuro Linguistic Programming, Neuro is a brain, linguistic is language, people programming, how you program your brain. Now, Richard Bandler and John Grinder, they have studied their successful people and they find out what they can do. If we do the same thing, we'll get the same result. So that's how they have done it. We will not get into more into it. Let's jump into fun. Now, this workshop will be a lot of fun. I'll be cracking a lot of jokes. Sometime I may pick up somebody and crack a joke on the person. Please don't mind it. Have fun. Okay. Now, I made a lot of notes here. You know, a lot of notes so that I don't miss out something interesting. Now, let me ask you a question. With how many of this happened? You met a very interesting person very first time and you felt an instant connection. You felt as if you know that person for years. With how many of this happened? Type yes. Please type yes, 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 yes. Oh, a lot of people have. You met a person very first time and you felt an instant connection, right? You knew that this was there. Oh, fantastic. Most of the people are typing yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, so many people are typing yes, 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 yes. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Now the next question. And then also I want you to type yes, sir. Okay. With how many of this happening that you're living with a person, but still you feel that you don't know that person. You have no connection. So it may be a personal person. So type yes, yes, yes. I'm getting a lot of yeses also here. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Fantastic. I like it. I like it. Now tell me one thing. Very interesting. Now many of you have not. Please switch on your cameras. Please switch on your cameras. I like to see your faces. That will motivate me to talk. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, listen to my I have another question. Why it is that you like that person and why you don't like it? So first question. Why you felt an instant connection with that person? Can you write the reason? Can you write the reason? Type the reason? Why you felt an instant connection? Attitude, okay. Very happily meeting, okay. Repo is positive, yes. Love, okay. New person looks interesting, okay. Smile was very familiar. Very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. Helping and loving. Now, what happened to the person? You know them for a year, but still you think that you don't know that person. What can be the reason? Body language, interesting conversation, very good. Please, please type. Somebody you don't like, what happened? Why you don't like the person? What happened? So you know the person, negative feeling, okay. His personality, negativity, behavior, negative approach, fantastic. Fantastic. Mismatching frequency. Very good. I like that. Nature, root nature. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Negative energy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Let me come back to you. 
listen carefully now richard bandler find out and they find out why you like or didn't like a person is because you're out of rapport or you are in a rapport now what does it mean listen carefully due to the old past karma <laughs> maybe yeah yes maybe but not i'm not fully sure about it so now listen carefully they find out why they are out of rapport and rapport with someone listen carefully there are three type of people sitting over here now 185 people are sitting over here including me and ajmat now there are three type of people are there first type of people are called visual they make pictures in their mind auditory they use their hearing channel kinesthetic feeling so see hear and feel three type of people. what does it mean so we have three modes seeing hearing and feeling now some people are more their prominent uh, dominant uh, mode is visual some are auditory some are kinesthetic we have all three modes but some are more visual some are more auditory some are more kinesthetic then what happens listen carefully visual person they make pictures in their mind and when i talk to them say mr gawan i can see what you are saying how can they see what i am saying they are supposed to hear right your ideas are bright and colorful auditory person Mr. Gawal, your idea sounds good to me. I can hear you. I can understand you. Remember, they're using a different words. Huh? Kinesthetic, I can feel what you're saying. I can handle this job. I can handle this job. The three kinds of people are there. Visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. Now, listen, my friend, the interesting thing. If you are a visual person, you are talking to an auditory person, there is no repo. Or if you, are, if I'm a visual person, if you are a kinesthetic person, if I say, "Can you see the big picture?" You can't. I can't see anything. I can only feel. No repo. Understand? So we are out of repo. Now, interesting thing. Listen carefully, my friend. Anybody had a love marriage here? Please type yes. Anybody had a love marriage? Please type yes. Yes. Nitin ji, be there. Be there. Be there. Nitin ji. Don't take it personally. Nitin says he had a love marriage. How long you are married? Nitin, type how long you are married. He doesn't want to tell. How long you are married, Nitin? <laughs> Nitin, 2013. That means nine years you are married. Are you in love with the same person? Did he say 23? Yes. Fantastic, fantastic. I asked you the same person. Eh? In when I workshop, I asked this question, the person says yes. And then the, the moment I moved, he said, but not with the same person. So with the same person. Fantastic. Now let me give you an example what happens. When we are in love, we use all our three modes to please each other. And then what happens? Once we get married, visual person become more visual, the auditory become more auditory, the problem starts. Say, for example, Nitin, don't take it personally. It is just because this is just for example. Say, for example, Nitin is a visual person and wife is an auditory person. Before marriage, you know, Nitin was using all the three senses to please her. Now, after marriage, slowly but steadily, he become more visual and wife become more auditory. The problem started. Wife started complaining. Nitin, you are not the same person I got married to. You are changed. Nitin just now said, he's still in love with the same girl, right? So, what is happening? Just to please her, he's not able to find out what is wrong. I still love her so much. And, you know, on her last birthday, he spent one lakh rupees, got jewelry for her. Last May, she spent 50,000 rupees, bought her nice dresses and things. On last Sunday, only last Sunday, he took her out in a five-star hotel and spent 10,000 rupees from his credit card. And when the, he come back home, the wife says, Nitin, you stop loving me. You are not the same person I got married to. Nitin could not took it anymore because he just spent 5,000, 10,000 rupees on the hotel. He said, how can you say that I don't love you? I'm changed. I gave you this gift on your on your birthday. Major Sri, I again bought a gift for you. Trip you out in a five-star hotel. In your life, your dad never took you in a five-star hotel, took you five-star hotel. And you are still saying that I don't love you. Now, listen carefully. Nitin did all the visual thing to show love. 
buying gift, taking out for dinner, wife is auditory. She said, so what? You took me out, but still I see that you changed because, listen carefully, my friend, because you stop loving me, because you stop saying, I love you. You, which you used to say 10 to 20 times in a day. Now, once in a year, only I hear on my birthday that I love you. Now, my friend Nitin now know he could have saved all that money by just saying I love you three to four times. Good idea? Good. Now, listen carefully, my friend. This is happening to us all the time. We use our own more. Now, I'm going to share you. Now, I'm going to share you a PDF to first to find out what mode you are in. And then you will learn now today, just now, how to find other person is auditory visual or kinesthetics. One second. Ajmat, can you share the PDF or not? Give the PDF in the group. This is a sheet here. You can see here. So Deep Agarwal's visual auditory kinesthetics. No, not this one. Sorry, not this one. The letter one. Uh, Transform your life with NLP. This is the one. This is the one as well. Transform your life. Eh? There's a questionnaire. Now, here in this paper, there are 30 questions. Each question has three answers. Now, you have to just pick up the first thought that comes in your mind and use a pencil to do this exercise. Pick mark which one is already there. For example, when you recall a time, when you recall a time you were immensely drawn to someone, what was the first thing that attracted you to them? Was it? The way they looked, something they said to you or that you heard, the way they touched you or something you felt. Now, for some people it is A, some people it is B, some people it is C. Now, it doesn't matter. There's a 30 question. Take a print out and do it alone when you are relaxed state of mind. And then pick mark whichever applies to you. And A, B, and C, A are visual, B are auditory, C are kinesthetic. Three. And then after 30 question answer, find out which one you are more. If you are 12, 13 visual, that means you are more visual, whichever is more. Now, sometimes we change our mode, that's a different thing. But this exercise will help you to find out what mode you are in. Uh, we have already shared in the group, Ajmat, you have already shared that link, group PDF. In the community also, we have shared and we have shared here also. Huh? Okay. So, this is a questionnaire for you. Now, this is for you to know what mode you are in, so you will know why you are sometimes getting not getting along with certain people in front of you. Now, this is a sheet for you. Now, somebody just asked me, sir, it is about me, then what about others? How can I find others? Simple, give them a sheet and ask them to tick mark and give it to you. Easier thing to do, but not possible all the time. Then what to do? Yes, my friend. I must give another sheet now. This is another sheet, and uh, I think of, is it clear? You can see this? Clear? In this sheet, we'll giving it to the sheet. And this file is again in the meeting. Visual people, when they talk, they use a visual words. See, look, bright, picture, colorful, illuminate, clear, dawn, flash. Ordinary people, when they talk, they use the word hear, Listen, loud, sound, melodious, be heard, harmonious. Kinesthetic feeling people? Feel, touch, pressing, feeling, exciting, be heard. Now, they use different words. You need to observe carefully the word they speak. And once you observe carefully what the word they use, you will know they are more visual, more auditory, or more pleasing. You observe. They may use all three words. They can notice which are the words they use more. Now, Ajmat is asking me, sir, if they are not speaking, then how will know? Yes, you can know. Still, you can know. You still know? Yes. See this sheet here. Okay. There's eyeball movements here. You can see that eyeball movements. Eyeball way. Now, listen, Kevin, look at me. Visual person normally look up or straight, top, left, left up or left, right. Visual people. Ordinary people look across. They look across. Kinesthetic, they look. Feeling people, they look down. Listen carefully. Visual, look up or straight. Auditory, sidewise. Kinesthetic, down. 
So when they are talking, look at the eyeball movements where they are looking. And where they are looking, if you know the person is more visible or to your kinesthetic. Or somebody is saying, if their eyes are closed, then what to do? Good idea. Notice their breathing. Notice their breathing. Check whether they are breathing or not. If they are not breathing, please call a doctor immediately. Check their breathing. Normally, visual people breathe up here and fast. Fast. Auditory in the middle. And kinesthetic deep stomach, long breathing. With the breathing pattern, you can find out the person is more visual, auditory or kinesthetic. When you're talking to somebody, you can notice their breathing pattern and you know whatever you're saying, are they making picture in their mind? Or they're using their hearing channel? Or their feeling channel? Yes, you can find that. Now, this is about the eye. Sometimes you can see uh, with the eye movement also, with the eyes are closed also, you can see the eye movement and you can know the visual, auditory and kinesthetic. The three, there's something more. Listen carefully. Visual people generally speak louder and faster. They speak louder and faster. Auditory, they speak in a rhythm. Let's go to the movie tonight. Kinesthetic, they speak slower. And no. Kinesthetic, they speak slower. And no. Auditory, they speak in a rhythm. And visual, they speak louder and faster. Louder and faster. So, with their way of talking, you can know the person is visual, auditory, or kinesthetic. Clear? Now, their gestures, their hand gestures. Visual people, normally they use more of their hand gestures. Hey, you can you see that? What can you come here? Auditory people, their hand gestures are on their face mostly. You know? Kinesthetic, they touch their hands. I can feel your face. See? So, visual, auditory, and kinesthetic. With their hand gestures, also you can find out. And the way they sit, normally visual people you find they're sitting like this. Auditory like this. And kinesthetic people sit like this. So you can know with their body posture, the person is visual, auditory, or kinesthetic. Clear? You understand this? Type yes. If you understand this, type yes. And you got a printout also? Yes. Good, 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 good. Good. Very simple. I make things simple to understand. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm getting continuous. Yes. People are typing yes fast. I'm not able to read their name also. Fantastic. So now, once you know the other person is visual or it is kinesthetic, and you find you want to influence this person, then what to do? Use their modes. If they're a visual person, show them the picture, auditory, let them hear, kinesthetic, make them feel. First thing, you need to develop a repo. You can use their words, what they are using. PDF is already posted there. Please check it. Am I PDF already posted? Yes, sir. Yeah, already posted. Please check your mobile. Check the group, it's already posted there. So now listen carefully. What you can do is match and mirror. Now, this is not the workshop where we can teach match and mirror very clearly. Um, in fact, I have created a uh, complete video on developing a repo, a live workshop where I was giving a lecture. We'll talk about it later on. So you can match the words, their body postures. Sir, if they show different personality on different assessment, how should we? I'm not clear about what you want. Once you know, if you are a, say for example, you are a visual person, other person is an auditory person, listen carefully. If you are a visual person, other person is an auditory person, you want to repo and influence that person, first you become an auditory. Use the, his or her words what they're using more. You will have a instant connection. Second thing, adopt their body posture. Adopt their body postures. You don't need to match and mimic. Pick up. Say, for example, I'm sitting like this. You can't see me like this. I'm sitting like this. You can also sit like this. If I change, slowly you change. There's a different way of doing developing a repo. If we talk about developing a repo, still it will take two hours. So match, mirror. 
अजमर एक बार कम्युनिटी लिंक फिर से शेयर करो फर्स्ट यू अटेंड द वर्कशॉप दैनिक आस क्वेश्चन है नॉट टू टाइप वन डोमिनेट वन पार्ट इज डोमिनेट बट समाइम दे चेंज अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिचुएशन से फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेडीज सिटिंग ओवर हियर राइट नाउ दे मे बी वेरी क्यूनिवर्सिटी एट होम बट वेन यू गेट टू अ मॉल सी ए साड़ी शॉप और ड्रेस शॉप इंस्टेंटली बिकम विजुअल So first thing we find out is visual auditory kinesthetic. You have got to know what mood you are after going through the exercise. You can do it, and then you will be able to recognize other people, make it a habit, consciously observe people, their words, their body posture, their tonality, their eyeball movement. You will be able to influence the people very, very easily. So this was about visual auditory kinesthetic. There is something more powerful. One by one, I am coming to it. Now in a moment, um, let's do one more interesting exercise. Now in a moment, if you are not opening your cameras, how can I do the exercise with you? Please open your cameras. Don't feel shy. Don't feel shy. Please open your cameras. Vijay ji, Mahesh ji, Prasim. Tashim and B B K they have opened their camera. Lucky one two three four. I don't know what to do. One two three four. Please open your cameras. Kisi ne pucha hai ki kya Hindi mein bol sakta hu? Main Hindi mein aapko samjhaunga to baaki jo workshop English mein kar rahe hain humne bhootho ko nahi samjhaya hai. So we'll speak English only. Sometime in the future we'll do it in Hindi also. Now let's do a fun exercise. Watch me and then I'll guide you. In a moment. I'll ask you to close your eyes. Don't close it right now, because in my hypnosis workshop, whenever I ask you in a moment, I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. People go close their eyes and go into that. No, please keep your eyes open and listen to me. I will ask you to imagine there is a big screen in front of you when you close your eyes. Imagine there is a big screen in front of you, and then I'll ask you to think about a person you like most. I'm not asking who that person is, so please. So like anybody, <laughs> which you really like most, and then when you think about the person you like most with your eyes closed, the picture of that person pops in on the screen, left, right, up, down, wherever it is. Now use your right hand and point to the location where you see the person you like most. Point to the direction. When you point to that, keep your hand there, and then I'll ask you to think about a person you don't like. Don't like means you don't hate. Don't like means no feeling. You can pick up anybody, and let the picture pass in. And this time, this right hand is only there the picture you like. <coughs> Now, left hand will go to the location where the picture you don't like, and just see what happens. And then I'll ask you to do some funny exercise, and you will have a lot of fun. And later on, you can have fun with your friends also doing this exercise. Also. So, are you ready? Close your eyes. And now, imagine there is a big screen in front of you. Big screen in front of you. And now think of the person you like most. Think of a person you like most, and where the picture pops in, up, down, up, where it is, pick it up. And then wherever the picture first pops in, now for some people the picture may come and go immediately because they may not be a visual person. So wherever the first picture you get there, lift your right hand and point to that location. Lift your right hand and point to the location where you see the picture. You're like yes, I can see. Some people are raising their hands. Yes, I can see that. Now. Think about the person you don't like, and where the picture pops in. Lift your left hand and point to that location. And when you do this, you will find that your hands are in different location, pointing to the different location. And now do one more interesting thing. Take the picture of the person you don't like and try, try to move it to the location you like, and just see what happens. With your eyes closed, do this. It will not move. Good. Come back. Open your eyes and come back. Open your eyes and come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Now, let me ask you a question. Which picture was more colorful? I like or don't like. Which picture was more colorful? Which picture was more closer to you? Closer. Type closer. 
Like, 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 which was more closer, okay? Good. Which picture was more, you know, mostly when you see this thing, something interesting happened. Listen carefully. You see a picture when you like a person, the pictures are closer to you, bright and colorful, bigger in size. The person you don't like will be a little far, dull. All right? Good. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, Listen carefully, one more important thing. Richard Banner John going to find out. First, we have a visuals already kinesthetic. Now we have something more. They call it submodalities. And I call it mental vastu sasana. <laughs> you see, we have a different location for different things, right? Liking, we have a different location. Disliking, we have a different location in your brain. Same way, we have a different location. So careful, different location for strong belief. Weak belief. Now there is one more fun exercise. Let's do one more exercise. Are you ready? Type yes if you are ready. Interesting exercise. Yes, yes, yes. Good, 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 good. Very good. Now, in a moment, we will do another fun exercise. We'll let you know how our mind works. How time is stored in your mind. Brain. In a moment, not now, in a moment, I'll ask you to close your eyes. When you close your eyes, just imagine that wherever you're sitting, you are leaving your body there and your awareness is going out of the building, wherever you are in. And when you don't do it right now, first listen to it. And then imagine out of the building, there is a time machine, a wonderful time machine waiting for you. Wonderful time machine waiting for you. It is your personal time safe machine. It's very safe. Go inside and then I'll guide you what to do. And when you open your eyes, when I ask you to open your eyes, then only you open your eyes. Ready? Close your eyes now. Close your eyes now. Take a deep breath. And just relax. And now imagine wherever you are sitting, you are floating out of your body. Going out of the building and out, up and down, out of the building, up, 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 up. Once you are there, imagine there is a wonderful time machine is waiting for you. It can take you into the past, it can take you into the future. Time machine waiting for you. This is your time machine. Open the door and go inside. It's a wonderful time machine. This is, you are the owner of the machine. There is a wonderful place to sit and relax inside. And now you are the owner of the time machine. You have all the control. You can see the panels there. How the time machine works. The three buttons: past, present, and future. Now, my friend, I want you to think of a time in your past, a very happy event happened. Think of an event in your past when a very happy event happened. Think about the time you went. Pick one. And when you are ready, press the button. Boom! Past. And your time machine is moving backward and backward and backward in time to that event happen. Backward to the time, floating, drifting into the time in the past. And once it is there, you can look down from the time machine, younger you, having fun, enjoying that event. You are watching yourself from up. And once it's ready, open the door of your time machine, come out of your time machine. Slow down, 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 down. Step inside the younger you. Really feel that wonderful, happy event. Enjoy that event right now as if happening right now. Intensified, multiplied, enjoy this wonderful feeling. Really feel it inside your body and mind. That's right. Now, you're doing a gym class, huh? We don't have enough time to keep you there. So, stop. Float up again into your time machine. And when you're inside the time machine, press the button, present. And you start moving backward to the present time here and now. So stay in your time machine, keep your eyes closed. And now think about a future event, a happy event going to happen, maybe a picnic, party, marriage. It can be anything. Go to the, think about the future time, near future, not very long, near future. And then press the button, future. The moment you press the button, future, 
the time must start drifting, 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 drifting into the future. Imagine the event happen the way you wanted it to happen. Then once you are there, come out of your time machine, step inside the future you. Really enjoy that event, really feel it happening. Hmm, now we really enjoying it. And now, come out of the future you. Come up into your time machine, close the door, press the button for send. Hmm, you float back to the present time, today, here and now. And once you are ready, come out of your time machine, float down inside your room, inside your body, and open your eyes and notice how you feel. Open your eyes, open your eyes, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Now I have a question for all of you. And I ask you to go back into your past. Which direction your time machine move? Type. You don't need to feel, you need to do the exercise. Visualize. Left, left, back, left, 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 left. left. Yes, type, please keep typing. Back, back, right. Oh, right also. In the past, eh? Anita and I talking right, okay? Left, 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 back, left, 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 right. Okay, stop. Now, most of you said left or some of you said back. No. Listen carefully. When I ask you to go back, go into the future, which direction your time machine move in the future? Type. Left, right, 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 right. Right, right, right. Forward, yes, yes. Forward, forward. Right, 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 right. Good. Thank you very much. Whatever you got is perfect. Like nothing right, nothing wrong. Normally, 90% of people will feel they are going to their left when they are going to pass. Some of them will find they are going into the back. And those who are going to the back, when they go into the future, they go into forward, in front. Those of you who are in the left for the past, they will be right on the future. This is how our time is stored in our mind. Listen carefully. This is called timeline. This is how time is stored in your mind. Mm -hmm. Is there nothing wrong or bad? Everything has advantage and disadvantage. People who are right to left, they are more organized. They can manage their time very well. People who are left to front, they are also good to enjoy their life. But sometimes they have a problem with their time management. They are mostly late. Sometimes they forget about where to go and what to do. That's okay. Now, remember, we have a time for left and right. Same way, we have a strong belief and weak belief. Now, close your eyes again. Think about the sun will shine tomorrow morning. Whether you are there or not, sun will shine tomorrow morning. So, where the picture comes in your brain, in your mind. You think what the sun will shine tomorrow morning. Most of you will see in front of you a little of your left. You know, little of your left coming towards you. Now, this is a strong belief. Now, think about something you want to achieve. Make a picture of that. You'll find the locations will be different. So if you change the location, you can change your belief. Very interesting. So, now come back. Now you know about VAK, visual auditory kinesthetic, you know about submodalities, you know about timeline, how the time is stored. Now there is an interesting thing, my friend. I want to give you a tip. You want a tip to influence somebody? Really want to influence somebody? Type yes. Type yes, you want yes. Huh? Yes, 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 yes. Good. Thank you very much. It will work. It will work 90% of the time. Listen carefully. When I ask you this question, go home and talk to your people. Think of the person you like more, where the picture from. Think of the person you don't like, where the picture comes from. You find most of you put your hand in front of you or to your right. Liking person. Disliking person works on your left. Now, if you want to influence somebody, if you're going for a negotiation meeting, where do you need to sit? To their location they like or dislike? Definitely like. So what is the location? Sit on their right. Or front or little on the right inside. Talk to them. And they will be influenced. They will be happy to talk to you. 
If you buy mistakes it on the left side, chances are gone. I still remember I went to meet the income tax commissioner for some work. So he called me. So when I went there in his room, I was looking for the chair which we had to sit there, so I'll be in his right. And I sat on the chair. My job was done like this. And he was so influenced by me. He was so happy to meet me. Now, listen, this is very, very important. Use it. In fact, in Mumbai, I was doing a workshop many, many years back. And this guy after the workshop was going back home. It was in Andheri, somewhere we doing a workshop. So they were talking to the auto rickshaw to take it there. So mostly what you do. In auto rickshaw, you are on the left hand side and talking to them, wah chalenge kya, wah chalenge kya. and he was saying, No, no, no. Then he realized what he learned in the workshop. So the next auto fellow came, he went, turn it and go to his right and then ask him, Chalenge kya, we are ready to go. <laughs> so this is something very, very powerful. So you can use this to influence people. Good idea? Use it and let me know how you feel about it. And now, after timeline, liking, disliking, Let's get to anchoring. Ah, I love this. What is anchoring? How many of this happen when you find hmm, it? With how many of this happen? You, when you were young, you used to sing a particular song which you really like most. You used to sing that song along. Now that same song come on the movie. Same song come on a radio or mobile or somebody listening. Or the sign comes, what happened? When you listen to the same song which you used to listen to that time when you were young, suddenly it comes, then what happens? Type what happens. Type what happens to you. When you used to say, feel good, not only feel good. Happy? No, I don't want to know that. Memories, that's right. Memory. It brings you back the same memories you had that time. You bring back the same memories of that time. You remember what happened that time. Listen carefully. So memory, the song is a song is an anchor for that memory. Let me ask you one more question. Interesting. Say, for example, you just had your dinner. Your stomach is full. A day is a very favorite sweet or some item which comes in front of you. When your stomach is full, you will grab it and eat it. What is the food? Hey, what is the food? Type, type, type. Ice cream, good. Which ice cream? Cadbury, yes. Ladu, rasgulla, fantastic. Now, all of you, look at my hand. Look at my hand. And imagine that food is in my hand right now. See that food in my hand. Imagine that food in my hand. It's coming closer to you. I'm not sorry for you. I can feel that. Happen? See? Srinara is laughing, smiling. Eh? You can feel that. Now, whatever your thing is, now this I do a lot of fun in my workshop. I, I ask this question during my workshop. Somebody say Rasgulla, somebody say Ladu. I pick one person, pick up their, whatever they said, the way they said it. They say Rasgulla, mouth watering. Eh? Rasgulla, they say Rasgulla. So during the exercise, anytime I look at them and say, Rasgulla. They go like this. The Rasgulla is an anchor. I have already made an anchor. Anchor is very powerful. With how many hours this happened? Somebody touch you on your shoulder, you feel irritated. IPS. IPS. Yes, yes. Why? You know, because you were irritated some time back and somebody touched you here to. You know, you feel you good, but what happened? That touch become an anchor. Then anytime anybody touches there, what happened? Same thing triggers. Anchoring is a mind trigger. I use anchoring a lot in my training, my personal sessions. I have triggered people to feel confident instantly whenever they are. I always trigger them. My sports people, that I, I trigger the zone feeling to get into zone immediately. So. Anchoring is a very powerful tool. Now, they can be our already full of body and mind is already full of lot of unconscious anchors which we are not conscious about it. Somebody's voice may trigger something for you. Somebody's the worst, they can trigger something for you. Somebody's touch, 
the moment we are full of anchor my lot of anchors already done many of them are negative anchors let me ask you a funny question here ah, how many people are married people here right now yes this place is also kind of anchor yes we'll talk about it we'll talk about it now let me tell you one thing interesting when we get married when we get married we are in a very good mood good anchor listen carefully this is very help you in improve your relationship if you are having a problem right now what happen after some time in the life a lot of situation happens up and down in the life happen up and down in the life and then what happen when there is up and down in the life something happens some down things are happen what happen if you are something not good things that me you are not like me something you know, stress is happening whom you are seeing most your wife or husband two time three time that become an anchor sometimes you say na i am used to get love from so much each other but suddenly what happen we don't like to see each other also because this is negative anchor negative anchor if anybody have this kind of anchor already working i'll give you a very powerful technique you can improve your relationship within a few minutes i do this sometime when people come for a cup of counseling i do this you want to know this type yes otherwise i'll not tell you type yes yes i'm getting yes 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 only one yes yes yes, yes. Oh, now i'm getting more wonderful 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 let me tell you what i do with the couple so you will get an idea we will get an idea when the couple comes they are complaining about each other and they don't know why they are complaining they don't know what is there one thing they are out of rapport that's one thing second thing is their body and minds are anchored to negative each other so how to diffuse that anger hmm we'll do an exercise later on but i'll tell you what i do i make them see things facing each other facing each other so they can look at each other and then i ask them to go back in time they pass when they were together and really enjoying their life they were full in love you know, i use my language pattern also to make them really feel they don't need to be the same situation they are not talking they are only thinking in their mind and they are really felt love for each other they are really enjoying their life and you know when you do nlp and then when you learn how to do it correctly you can observe their breathing changes and pattern changes so you know you are they are feeling it their facial expressions get changed like when i say this gula somebody's face changes right same way their face changes the moment they are feeling a strong feeling i intensify so you intensify this wonderful feeling multiply and suddenly i want them to open your eyes and look at each other with that wonderful strong feeling they open their eyes and look at each other's eyes you know what happens negative anchor gone and the new anchor set then according they can each other whatever they want other than sex they can have anything in my office <laughs> okay so this is how you can break me you can think us so if anybody if you are having this kind of problem you go back home just stop if you if you already at home you now some people say how can i ask my wife to sit in front of me and think about it good question but listen carefully once you learn this kind of techniques once you become master in this technique something interesting happens you know what you just talk about the past incident i have been here together tell them if you want to talk to your wife you know on the first sunny pool we went there we nari moon we went there we really enjoyed that place Do you think about it just say that she will instantly go back to the time this is conversational hypnosis you start relieving really a facial expression change and then you keep looking into your eyes and you get into the state the negative anchor will be broken right and the positive anchor will be do you understand this type yes if you understand type yes and tell me whether it is useful or not if it's useful type yes 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 good fantastic thank you thank you very much thank you very much thank you now i'm going to give you a special anchor to feel confident do you want confidence on your fingertips like this do you want to feel confident whenever you press like this and you feel confident 
Is it like this? Yes, yes, yes. We will create an anchor for you right now. Of course, yes. Fantastic, 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 fantastic. Now listen carefully. To do this exercise, you need to think of a time in your past when you did something very, very complex. The stronger the situation you think, the better it is. Now, my friend, spend a few seconds. Think of a time in your past when you did something very confidently. It has nothing to do with your job, nothing to do with your business. It can be a sport, talking to anybody, giving a speech, whatever it is, pick one. Now, sometimes when I ask this, some people say, Sir, I don't have anything like this, so what to do? Pretend you have that one. Imagine that you had one, then how you would have felt. Work perfectly. So, when you are ready, type yes, and we'll do an exercise. Just a two minute exercise. Fantastic. So, now sit comfortably, close your eyes, take a deep breath, close your eyes now. Take a deep breath, close your eyes now. Now, go back to the time when you felt comfortable, confident. Go back to the time when you performed confidently and successfully. Go back to the time, see what you saw, hear what you heard, feel what you felt as if it is happening right now. Notice how you are talking, moving around, what was the thought inside your mind, and notice how wonderfully confident you felt that time. Feel this wonderful feeling inside your body and mind right now. Intensify it, multiply it, double it now. And as you go to the time, the feeling will start happening. Keep body in mind, when the feeling is really strong, touch your thumb and finger on your right hand, like this and press and say, I'm confident. <coughs> say, I'm confident. Say, I'm confident. And then release your fingers, open your eyes and look around. Look around. Oh, what is the time now? Already nine o'clock. Huh? Already one hour passed. We don't know how the time passes. Huh? Okay. Now, I just asked you this question. I'm confident. Very good. Now, listen carefully. Look around. Break the state. If you're sitting, get up and then sit down again. And then, Without closing your eyes, press the thumb and finger together in your right hand and repeat that word in your mind and press. Instantly you'll find the same confident feeling coming all over your body and mind. Be more confident. That's right. This is a trigger for you for confidence. I'm confident. Very good. Release this trigger. Look around. Now listen carefully. We have made this trigger. So whenever you need in the future, you can fire this trigger and feel confident. No. I want you to make this trigger more powerful. Are you about light? Am I going to show you? I'm not sure. Totally light. Okay. So, yeah. We have done for one exercise. Listen carefully. Now we have asked our unconscious mind to recall more and more and more and more and more confident feeling. Now, after this workshop is over, suddenly you will recall something which was more confident than this. So simply close your eyes, go back to the time, really feel it and make this trigger again. The more you do this, the more powerful this trigger will become. So do you understand what I'm saying? So press this and say, and recall more and more and make this trigger more and more powerful. This is the part one. Part two, the real part two is, which is the more useful is for you. If you are in a situation, you will forget to fire the trigger, am I right? Then what to do? Say, for example, you are going for an interview or going for an exam or going to have a, give a speech. And when you think about it, you feel nervous, right? What to do is, um, Sanjana Simla, I said my voice is not clear. Is my voice clear to all of you? Type yes. Yes. That means some, something wrong with their internet, maybe. It may happen sometime. So, what you do, it's called future pacing in NLP. For example, you are going to give a speech or you're going to go for an interview. Now, when you wait this trigger, you just have to close your eyes and think about the future event, not inside. You're about to enter in the situation and press this trigger. Instantly, whatever the negative feeling will go away, and then see yourself in the future situation feeling very, very confident. 
doing the work superbly and confidently. See also coming out of the situation and you perform superbly well. After doing all this, release your trigger. And then look down and then think about the future event. If you feel confident and now is gone, it is done, program. This feeling is waiting for your subconscious mind for that event to happen. The moment you are there, it will instantly trigger the confidence in you. I use this technique with the sports person. Now, anchoring has a lot of variety of things. One anchoring, we just made an anchor. Second thing is you can dissolve the anchors, negative anchor. Third thing is you can link one anchor to other thing. I'll tell you a very interesting story. I was working with a golfer. And his mind programming was if you play a bad shot, all the negative memories from the past triggers, and he was not able to play anymore. He played bad after it, tumbled down. It was happening to him. I used a trigger for him to remove that completely, and the next day he broke the course record. Such a powerful technique. For anchoring, we have a different, different techniques like uh, anchoring, circle of excellence, a lot of techniques we can teach in that. Actually, there are two or three day workshop where we teach step by step all these things. But this thing that I'm giving you, you can still right now utilize it for your benefit and take it. And this was anchoring. Now, there's another important thing. The important thing is your body postures, physiology. Now, anybody in sports, if you even watch a cricket match or even watch any other hockey match or football match, you don't know the score, but if you just switch on the TV, by looking at their body posture, you know who is winning, who is losing. Am I right? Yes. But just, yes. By looking at them, you know because of their body postures. So let's do a fun exercise. Let's do a fun exercise right now. <laughs> you know? As you're sitting, uh, look at me, look down, make your body down, make your voice little I'll do a bad day today, I didn't enjoy anything today, how do you have a bad day today? Talk negative in your mind. And then, after some time, think about something positive when you cannot. And then, sit straight, look up, now try to think negative. You can't. Remember, your postures change your state of mind. Your physiology changes your state of mind. First thing when I work with the sportsman, you know, when I, most of you know that I work with the top level sportsman. First thing I change them, I ask them to change their body posture. I ask them never look down and walk. Look straight or walk. Not look down. The moment you look down, negative thoughts keep creeping in. So always look up. Don't look so up that you fall in a pit. <laughs> look straight. Huh? Not look down. Now, one more important thing about visual auditory kinesthetic. I want to tell you something more interesting, which I didn't tell you that time purposely. Say it till you make it. That's right. Now, one more thing about visual auditory kinesthetic. The eyeball movement thing, there's something more. When a person looking left up is recalling what happened in the past. When they're looking right up, they are making a new picture in their mind. Same thing with the auditory. When they are looking left, they are recalling what they heard or said or heard. Right, they are making a sound in their mind. If I say like this, how it will sound? When they are looking right down, they are accessing the feeling. If they are looking left down, they are talking to themselves. Because this will take a lot of time to explain. I think you will just give you an example here. So, physiology is very, very important. <laughs> Now, I'm just checking it. Now, another three important things are words are more powerful. When I work with a sports person, I work with the words first. I make them see what they see. Words are very, very important. Every word has a power. In fact, I have a course created also on that. And uh, I have a wonderful experience about this. So every word has a power. We think, what is word, positive word we talk about it, but when I got into sports, I came to know if I can listen, if I can listen to the captain interview, I can tell you what is going to happen tomorrow. If I listen to the player about the fight or match tomorrow, you know, 
I can know what is going to happen. When you see something, the picture flash in your mind and get programmed. I'll give you a few good examples, then I want you to experience the power of our life. Yes. My workshop is more how to. So let me give you an example. I was working uh, with a boxers. Olympic medal. Ivaki Lakhran after he worked with me. So after a training here in Hyderabad, he went to play a tournament in um, Bang uh, Thailand, uh, Thailand, yeah, Bangkok, Thailand. He went there. And my rule is when I work with somebody, one on one and a sports person, they need to talk to me when there's a real tournaments are there. Then only the real things come up, which they are not aware of consciously when they come to me. So this guy was calling me every day. Calling me, he was giving me, he used to call me every day, a fixed time. I say, sir, today is the fight with this person, I can handle him, and all these things were telling me. Third or fourth day, I don't remember, he called me an hour earlier than the usual time. Now, when a player or a sportsman of that level call you or do something earlier, that means there's something wrong, otherwise they are very, very punctual about a minute. Yes, about a minute. So, when I called him, I called him, Miss Paul, I called him, and uh, he was very nervous and down. I said, what happened? He says, sir, today my fight is, the voices are down. My fight is with a Thai boxer. I said, so what? Sir, Thai boxer, Thailand, Thailand crowd, Thailand referee. There will be a big cheating on points. Cheating on points. Where his mind was focused, what picture he's seeing in his mind was? Cheating, losing. And his voice was also down. When making that picture, they will be cheating and he will lose. He has a different picture by talking. B, being a mind coach, what is my job? My job is to change what he's thinking. So first question I ask him, is he a bigger, better boxer than you? No, sir, I'm better than him. His voice changed. I said, now my job is done. I said, now, what? You're thinking about point. Knock him down. Knock out Kardos. Sir, gira rega. Knock him down. His voice changed completely. There's some big news in the newspaper. Big crowd came with a drum and thing to motivate the Thai boxer. And he won on points with big numbers. And he made that person fall down on the floor twice. That was in the news. Just by changing. Numbers. Words are very powerful. I have got thousands of examples. We'll not go into it. Even the try is very negative. Never use the word try. There's no time for this thing here. So I just give you a small example of the power of words. So now listen carefully, close your eyes, take deep breaths, and just relax. Good workshop. Now I ask you to close your eyes and relax. Sir. Now listen carefully. I'll give you a word, you repeat that word in your mind, and notice how you feel, what thought, what picture comes in your mind. Really feel it. So I can give you the word, repeat mentally in your mind. Sad, S A D, sad, 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 sad. Not change it. Happy, 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 happy. Now, open your eyes. Now. Do you find the difference in the sad and happiness, the feeling inside your body? I can see some people, when I say sad, they were going down. When I said happy, they were going up. I did not ask you to become sad or happy. I just asked you to repeat the word. This is the power in the word. Words are very powerful. But I created a whole workshop on a lot going down and emotion change immediately. That's right. But words are so powerful. But what do we do normally? We use the negative word all the time. Trying is negative. Trying never works. Trying never works. In fact, I'll tell you a story. I was working with a cricketer, a best player, many years back in 99. We are from negative most of the time. Yes, that's what you need to change. Now, Lucha has just asked me, are from negative most of the time. I thought I want to give you one bonus here. Anytime you find yourself negative, 
thinking negative or focusing on negative, ask yourself a simple question. What do I want? The moment you ask this question, what do I want? Your mind will immediately focus on negative to positive. And then from that, simple technique, use it. I use it all the time. So, with the words, very, very powerful. Words are very powerful. If you know, I can do a two hours workshop on words. In fact, I've created a workshop also. If anybody interested, they can talk to my office and get one. Now listen carefully. Words are very, very powerful. So change your words, change your line. Always negative words come, remove them and use a positive words. Words are very, very powerful. And then we come into something called very, very important. In our life, we have a lot of negative patterns. Negative patterns. We do uh, some kind of thing every time, number of times. Then we have a lot of negative emotion inside us. We have a lot of um, emotion. Let me tell you how the emotions work. Because nowadays, I'm working more on helping people with their emotional problems. What kind of emotion? How emotion works? Let me first give you. Emotions are like a part inside your brain waiting for you. For example, Somebody had a fear of dog. Somebody had a fear of dog. Why is the fear of the dog? Because when he was young or sometimes the dog jumped on him or attacked on him or her, the fear of dog happened. Or they might have seen a dog jumping on somebody, they got a fear. No, the picture of the fear and the dog is programmed in the mind. So every time the person sees a dog, hears about a dog, the same negative thing of fear is waiting for the time to activate. We call them automatic trigger. This emotional states are negative emotions are waiting and they are automatic. At the moment that kind of thing happens, like for example, the anchoring. This is like a different kind of anchor already in your subconscious mind. Say for example, you had a fight with somebody or you know, normally I get these cases here. Uh, recently two ladies has come for therapy and they had a problem at home. You know, understand the mother-in-law. And they had a problem with something might have happened earlier so every time in the face of mother-in-law, the negative feeling triggered and they feel bad. They become fearful. Though mother-in-law is not saying anything now, but something has been said. So every time they see a mother-in-law, the negative feeling triggered, like the dog fear, any kind of thing. So these are automatic triggers. And this has made a pattern. If this will happen, this will automatically trigger. This will happen. So this is already there in our subconscious mind, automatic triggers. Now, we can use this technique to remove any of the negative feeling. The fear and phobia technique and fast phobia too. Does normally we do one on one. We don't do it in a group session like this. But I can give you a technique. A simple and fast technique. Do you want a technique? To remove your negative emotion immediately. Yes, 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 yes. I'll give you a simple but very powerful technique. Now, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Now, how you know that you have the fear? Something needs to happen inside you. Feelings are energy. Say, for example, uh, somebody came to me for therapy, he had a fear of public speaking. So every time I think about public speaking, it gets some fear inside his body, in the body first, and then it goes to the whole body. It starts somewhere and it goes. Mostly, the feelings are like energy. For some people, the feelings start from their stomach, then goes up to their head. For some people, start from their head, then goes to the whole body. You know, the drives up and down. For some people, it is round and round inside the body. Some people, you know, the reverse direction. So this is a feeling. We, we need to know what is the direction of the feeling, because this is a pattern already formed by the emotion. So, pick one negative memory right now. Pick one something negative memory which is bothering you right now. It can be a person or some event in the past. Pick one. Just for the exercise, pick one and then you can do it for anything in the future. Okay. Can you pick up? No need to type what it is. Pick one negative feeling. And then close your eyes and think about that incident that happened or some memory happened, whatever it is, think about the thing that happened in the past. And the moment you think about it, your unconscious mind triggers the same feeling. Now, where the feeling start and where it move? For some people, 
It is tough from the stomach, those are for some people from up or down, whatever it is. Notice what it is and where it moves. Be aware of it. Then only you can change it. If you don't know, you can't change it. So, for example, if you're sitting from your stomach and going up, give it a color. Whatever color comes in your mind. You don't need to decide any color. Whatever the first color comes in, you give it a color. And once you're given the color, for example, for example, don't do that today, right now. For example, if the feeling starts from your stomach and going to your head, or if it's starting from head going to the stomach, so we are I'm guessing that most, mostly 80%, 90% time, you start from your stomach or goes up. Now when it goes, starts from your stomach and goes up, you're given a color, do something very interesting now. Imagine the feeling has gone to your head, and now it is reverse direction coming down into your stomach, going out of your body, changing the color, coming into your head again and going down into your stomach, changing the color, and now if you started moving in reverse direction faster, and faster 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 really fast 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 now stop and open your eyes open your eyes look around now think about that event now you can't think about it that is one even the picture of that event might have become done type yes I, yes, yes, I can see so many yeses coming up. Yes, 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 yes. Very good, very good. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, gone. Yes, 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 yes. And thank you very much. Now, this is a technique. You need to be, this is a kind of a very simple technique. You need to know the pattern of this feeling, how it works. Reverse the pattern. Now, reversing slowly will not work. I started slowly, but I speed it up. The moment you speed it up, pattern breaks. Slowly, it will never break. So, start with slow to understand it and then move it fast. You can do it on yourself. You can help somebody doing this exercise and charge them 5,000 rupees a session, which I charge. And send 50% to me. I'll give you my PTM and <laughs> Google Play number here. Eh? But very powerful technique to use. I have developed fantastic. Lucha is crying. No, no, don't pay me now. Later on. Later on. <laughs> okay. So, understand. These techniques are so powerful. I have developed a number of techniques. She's not crying. She's laughing. Richard laughing. Oh, okay, laughing. Fantastic. I saw different. Thank you, Richard. Okay, now, interesting thing. Now, there's one more interesting thing which I want to tell you is, like we talked about the words, questions are more powerful than affirmations. Tony Robbins says, quality of your life depends on the quality of question you ask. Let's do a fun exercise with this. And I'll give you a small handout also, very nice handout as a bonus. Uh, where is my paper, Edmund? Ah, I got it. See, for example, you go, you went for an interview and you fail. And you come out and say, ask why I failed, why I failed, why I failed. You know what question you're asking? Asking your unconscious mind to give you an answer. Why I fail, give you a hundred reasons why you fail. But that is not our goal. Our goal is to become successful, right? So ask the right question. How can, what can I do next time to become successful? What can I do to become successful next time? And conscious mind will come up with the answer, may not be immediately, but it will definitely come or it will create one for you. So let's do a fun exercise. Are you ready for the exercise? I'll give you two types of questions. Answering them, notice how you feel. Ready? Are you ready? Type yes. Okay, I'm seeing yes now. Good. Only one yes? Okay. Okay, okay. Manju Kiran also there. Right? Very good, very good, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you very much. Now, let's do the exercise. Stop typing, close your eyes. Close your eyes now. Take a deep breath, close your eyes. I love uh, asking people to close their eyes because I'm being a hypnotist. I always do that. Okay, now, first question ask yourself what's wrong? Repeat in your mind what's wrong? And notice what answer you get. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Second question. Why do I have this problem? Why do I have this problem? Why do I have this problem? Next. What caused this problem? What caused this problem? How has this problem limited me? How has this problem limited me? How has this problem limited me? How long have I had this problem? How long have I had this problem? How does this problem cause me to fail? 
How does this problem cause me to fail? Whose fault is this problem? Whose fault is this problem? Whose fault is this problem? And now, take a deep breath and whatever you felt, just take it out and keep your eyes closed. The second type of question. Ask yourself, what do I want? What do I want? Ask yourself, what do I want? How can I get it? 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 How will I know when I have it? How will I know when I have it? How will I know when I have it? What resources do I have right now that will help me achieve my goal? What resources do I have right now that will help me achieve my goal? When I get what I want, how will my life improve? When I get what I want, how will my life improve? What will I do to begin getting what I want? What will I do to begin getting what I want? Take a moment to breathe deeply and remember what unseen them was like for you. And then open your eyes and come back. Open your eyes and come back. You know, type which you know, type of question you like. The first one or second one? Type. Two type of question I ask. Which one you like more? Second, second. Second one is a negative one. First one, yes. First, yes, 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 yes. Some people are confused, I think. The positive one, the first one you like more. First time which I asked the second type of question was a first one the question was a negative one. Uh, second one was a positive. Thank you. I, I was confused. Sorry. So first one was a negative one, second one was a positive one because of focus on outcome positive. Now, if you can just simply do one small thing, your life will change completely. Ask yourself the right kind of question. I'll give you some sample question. Ajmat is going to give you a PDF on the group and the community. So be there. First question. How come I am so lucky? How come I am so lucky? When you ask this question, what happened? Insult and conscious mind need to come up with the answer to remind you your lucky streaks, right? And get you in the state of luck. Why am I so wonderful? How, why I am so wonderful? What new wonderful things will I discover? How can I become thinner and enjoy the process? That is something important. How can I become thinner and enjoy the process? I wonder in how many ways I can become better and better. Not one way, how many ways? I wonder how quickly I can achieve my ideal weight. Not slowly, quickly. Eh? Which sensation in my body feels the very best right now? How quickly will I begin to learn this new skill? Again, quickly, not slowly. How naturally and easily will I begin to pay attention to pleasant feeling? How soon will I begin to notice with delight how successful I can become. Now, these are the questions, just a simple question for you. Create your own question and use it. You don't need to go into self-hypnosis to program your mind, just repeating them if you start working on your unconscious mind. Now, in this sheet which we are going to give it to you, there is some bonus questions for persistent purpose. Understand. Would you like to order your dessert now or when you have your coffee? If I ask you, would you like to order your dessert now or when you have your coffee, what does it mean? Please type if you understand it. This PDF is going to come there in the group. Would you like to order your dessert now or when you have your coffee? That means, that means dessert order is confirmed. We are taking now or later on it is that depending. Is this cash or change? That means done. Order is booked. Only it is a choice is cash or credit card. When customers are asked, would you like a large or small coke? Most take a small one. However, when asked, would you like a large one? Most take a large, 90%. Why? Because you didn't give them a choice. You just give them a picture of large one. Do you realize how excited it is going to be when you take this vacation? How quickly can we finish our meeting? You give the picture in the mind. In how many different ways are you going to enjoy this house? 
These are powerful questions for persuasion. In fact, I've created a course, if not a hypnotic persuasion, using phrases, language pattern, and thing. We talk about that now. Now, let me check if there's anything else I need to talk. Now, some people are typing here. Do you do one over session? Yes, I do. Talk to my office number. Ahmed, can you type your number or you can write down number double eight zero one zero three one triple zero. WhatsApp is not working in that mobile right now. You need to call them for the personal session. I do personal session for free. So we are removing these negative patterns, which is just one exercise. I have developed my own technique called hidden resource activation, which is a very powerful tool, which I use it for my sports people. Now I started recently, I started doing with the uh, general public also. So anybody interested, talk to my office. I work with the top level sportsmen. If you know anybody who need help, you can contact my office, not me, contact my office. And now, there is a, uh, we have done, what are the things we have done today? We talked about NLP, VAK, we did an exercise for liking a person, not liking a person. Okay, I'm going to give you one more tip for person. Do you want it? Do you want it? IPS. Yes. The last tip. Normally, I give it my workshop. There is a different kind of anchoring. So you can use a very powerful anchor. And I used it with you initially when we started. Let me give you a thing. I ask you a question. How many of it has happened? You met a very interesting person very first time. You felt an instant connection. Remember I asked this question? No. When I asked you this question, what happened? It is a question, remember. You go inside and started thinking about the person you like, right? And what I was doing here, listen carefully. This is a very powerful technique of persuasion. Watch me again. I asked this question, please watch me again carefully. And I'll ask you a question what I did. With how many of this happened, you met a very interesting person very first time and you felt an instant connection. Now you understand what I did? Did you understand? Type yes if you understand. When I ask you to go back to the time and I'm pointing towards me, my finger was pointing towards me. You were getting into a state of mind, I'm linking to me. Other power. Many times when you're dealing with somebody, they're in a good mood, good thing they're talking, they're talking about somebody they like or love, always. Okay, that's right. That's the point towards you. Very casually. Whatever they are feeling will link to you. This is a very powerful anchoring technique. So my friend, we have done anchoring. We talk about timeline yesterday, today, and thing about the goal also. We do a goal setting exercise. Uh, there's no time here because it takes a whole process. You all know about smart goal, but smart goal doesn't work. There are two more important things about the smart goal. Those of you know, understand this. First thing is it should be your own goal, personal goal, which you can do something about it. And then once you achieve your goal, there are some changes. Are you ready for change? Many times people are not ready for change. That's why they are not become successful. So, and then once you set a goal, use your time machine, date and everything is fixed up, put the goal there in the future. Somebody will fool you there. And now, there are many more NLP techniques we use. Fast phobia to reverse feeling. We have just done it here. You know, circle of excellence, developing a rapport, breaking negative patterns. There are many, many things can be done. I use it all the time. NLP is the most powerful tool. Today, my goal was to give you full experience of the NLP technique, not talking you about NLP. This is how I work. I cannot talk. I can only do exercise because this is my more passion. And now, as I have made many courses, Ajmat, can you share the screen? Hmm? There is a very special offer only for today for those of you who really want to take this learning to a next level. Yes, one minute. Can you share the screen? So, can you see the screen? Okay. I used to conduct a workshop before lockdown, two full day training on hypno NLP for self improvement. People used to come from all over India to attend the workshop. The fees was 10,000 plus GST. That time, GST was just started. And uh, there was a VAT also initially. 10,000 plus GST. People used to come from all over India to attend the workshop. 
and they used to spend on flight, they used to spend on uh, auto stay, attend the workshop, they used to call them around 30,000 rupees. Now what happened? We have live recorded this workshop, two full day training program live recorded on a very good quality uh, professionals. So this full workshop, once we recorded, we made is a home study course, which normally we sell in our website for 7,000 plus GST, that comes to 8,620. Now today, because you are the participant, you are here today, the special offer is 4,000 plus 720 GST, that is 4,720. This is one for Now here I have like, one during the lockdown. What we have done here is many people are asking for the courses. So we created a 28 day WhatsApp workshop, which we don't do now. Right? It's a video program, which is uh, recorded with a lot of my classroom demos, 28 day WhatsApp workshop which was normal price of 5,000 plus GST. Today it is 1298. They are giving you the same WhatsApp rate, which is, which is a full of video, which is only video. And then around 20 years back, I will have conducted a workshop on NLP, three-day practice and workshop on NLP in Mumbai. We live recorded audio program. This is not a video, video program. This is an audio program, which normally we sell in WhatsApp for 3,600 plus GST, come to 4248. Special offer for today for the next 15 minutes is 2000 plus 360, 2360 only. And the discount price now. We talk about every word has a power. It's a video course. And this is also 2000 plus GST for today. It is 450 plus 81 rupees GST comes to 531 rupees only. It's a video course. Hypnotic magic question. We talk about magic questions. It's a complete audio program on hypnotic magic questions with a lot of details. This is also 2000 plus GST. Today it is 500 plus 90 rupees, 590 with GST. And then hypnotic personal influence. This is a hypnotic words, phrases, and language pattern. This also we created actually a 21 day uh, WhatsApp workshop. Plus, I have done this course in uh, Udemy.com where they sell it for 4000 or 5000 something, whatever they sell it. It's a three course combined together. So, this is normal price 7000 plus 1260 GST. And offer today is 1000 plus 180, 1180. Now, there is a combo offer. Total price of this normally purchase is 31,748, including all taxes. But when you take this only for today, the discounted price is 10,000 something for now, we are why individually. You get a special one time offer only for today is a 5,000 rupees plus 900, 5,900 plus. There is a bonus for the combo, which we are not selling normally. Developing a report, a video program, which I recorded in live workshop uh, when an American friend of mine, Bart Beckett, and Dati Kassar came to India in Bangalore. And we did a training program with him, and I gave a talk on demo talk and everything, developing a repo. It's a video program, which normally sells for 5,000 plus GST. It is a bonus. You don't pay for anything when you take a combo in 5,900. You get everything. Now there is a register pay button there. You can click on the register pay button. You can buy the whole combo, special price, or you can buy any one of the posts which you want. Click on the register pay button here, pay now. Use your credit card, debit card, Google Pay, Paytm, and phone pay. Immediately, you will get a thank you page, a downloadable link. Download everything. It's all downloaded products. So if you really enjoyed this workshop, want to take it to the next level, these courses are very, very powerful. And this is rate is only available for the next 15 minutes only. After that, it will not be available because we normally sell these courses. You go to my website and check it. The prices we sell there normally. So you will not get this special discounted price. I highly recommend you can take whatever you want. I highly recommend you to take the full combo because it is a heavily discounted price only for this workshop. Now, my friend, let the people take it. Hajmat is there on that number. You can talk to them, and there is a web page also available here. We will post the recording. If the recording has come very well, we will definitely post it in the group. The link. Now, if anybody has a have a question about therapy or anything else, anything which they are not understand, you can ask me, and we'll be on live for next 10-15 minutes. So people who really want anything, they can take it right now because the offer is for today only. So you can go to the web page. Link also given by Ajmat. So you can click on there, you can buy from there also. Tomorrow morning, we'll remove this page also. Somebody has raised and you can ask me the question. You can type the question. You can type the question and I can reply. 
Is there anybody has any question about whatever we have done or anything they want? Please, you can feel free to ask me. Thank you, Guruji. Most kind of you. Thank you, Mr. Samaji from Guwahati. I think you have done my workshop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hurry up. Okay. Don't raise your hand. Please type. I can't see so many people are there. So please type. Yes. For that purpose, you can use the technique which you learn, or you can do one-on-one -on -one session also with me. That will help you. How to remove negative figures of the other person or use yourself. If you want to yourself, you can use what the technique you learned. Plus, if you want, you can book a one-on-one uh, one -on -one session with me. You can work one-on-one. -on -one. It's normally three sessions, 30 minutes each. We do it. And normally, from the first session only, you get it. Now, when we do these sessions, we record in the Zoom, which is a Zoom session. So we can send you the recording. So you can redo the exercise again and again. So normally we do three to four sessions. Anybody wants any help, you can talk to Ajmat, double eight zero one zero three one triple zero. You can pick up an appointment. And uh, any other question anybody has? Anxiety, people ask me, fear ask me. And I'm sure all of you are. Now there's a last, uh, one very powerful offer. Those of you sitting over here, you enjoyed the workshop, you have your camera with you, please record a video testimonial how much you enjoyed the workshop. Say your name first from which city you are in and what you really enjoyed. And then send the video. We'll give you a very, very special gift. Very special gift of one of my very interesting books. So we'll give you the gift. So send it on the number. Uh, number, give the number. To send because of other WhatsApp is not working. Eh? Or anybody wants to use a for the payment purpose, the must just ask me to tell you. Anybody wants to use a Google Pay, Paytm, and Phone Pay, you can use my personal number, but don't call on that number, personal number for the payment only. <coughs> number is as my type the number 9849354000. 9849354000 is my personal number. Please. Use, use Google Pay, Paytm, and Phone Pay. But I will still strongly suggest use a razor pay so you can immediately get a downloadable link. Google Pay, Phone Pay, Paytm, 9849354000. This is my number. Anybody has any question? I'm here for another 10 minutes more so that people can buy right now. I will, yes. Good. Hurry up, hurry up. Anybody wants anything else? This offer will not be available. And one more thing, maybe on Tuesday evening, we may do a short workshop, free workshop again. So be in the group all the time. So you'll get a Zoom link. Tuesday evening, we may do a workshop and planning something. I'm not decided fully what to do, but it will be a short one and a half hour workshop only, like this workshop that you attended. Uh, solution for anxiety, please. You can use the same reversing filling technique. Go, you can use the trigger or Still, if you want my help, contact my office, we can guide you. Now I can see your people are faces, eh? Swani, Gamji, Balakrishna ji, Nilima, Sarya. Good, good, good. Fantastic. So you enjoy it. Please send a video testimonial to me. I need the video testimonial. It's a name and I'll give you a very special book. Okay, the number is, uh, Ajmat, give the number to post the video. Give your number, personal number. Yes, one-to-one -one session for anxiety, possible, yes. Ajmat, give your number, they will send you the um, video testimony on your number. Or you can give my personal other new number. So, for testimonial, please, WhatsApp on 880. Repeat the number. All these things you need to talk to Ajmat. Personally, we will not, not talk here on the class here. And you can talk to Ajmat. He will guide you. In fact, we are getting cases from all over India. There are two ways to do. One is to Zoom class. Second one is come to Hyderabad. If you come to Hyderabad, I will spend more time with you and discuss more with you. And if you get more help diet one-to-one, -one, but I do Zoom classes, US, UK, Bangladesh, 
कनाडा जर्मनी रोमानिया दोहा दुबई आई डू लॉट ऑफ सेशन पीपल वन ओ वन दे गेट अ वंडरफुल रिजल्ट बट इफ यू आर लोकली समी इन हैदराबाद और अराउंड हैदराबाद लाइक बैंगलोर से नाई प्लीज कम ओवर फॉर टू डेज और थ्री डेज एंड यू कैन एंजॉय द सिटी प्लस माई वन ओवर सेशन टूगेदर विल बी मोर पावरफुल बिकॉज when we talk together in front of each other we can find out certain problems which you are not consciously aware of it and we will really use them sessions are very powerful very very interested talk to them and any question else any other question about the technique we have done in fact i am planning a workshop only on anchoring only on anchoring how to use anchoring powerfully i'm planning on it there are a lot of plans now mostly if i am in town every saturday we will do a zoom free class and some good topics we have already done one for 60 seconds to program your mind attract luck then we have uh, today we have done nlp next saturday now we have decided the workshop the workshop name is learn self hypnosis to free program your subconscious mind somebody asked me what points to recover just say your name you are from which city plus in this workshop what you really like most Which the technique you are going to use it in your day-to-day -day life, and how much you enjoy the workshop. That's all. If you want to talk some good words about me, I will learn. Any other question? 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 Any other Fully is not the word. How much is there? Very much. Yes. 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 Yes is not required. I want to know how much you enjoyed. Great. Very much. Yes. Now, my friend, one more important thing I want to tell you here. Many people are doing a lot of Zoom workshops here. I'm not complaining about them, but they are not teaching. They are giving you theory, little hint, and they are selling twenty thousand, thirty thousand, fifty thousand rupees courses. do i have lot of courses i also sell lot of my courses online but my purpose is not to sell the product my goal is to give you genuine thing so in every workshop you get lot of wonderful things from my workshop now to give me motivated if you buy my products it will motivate me to cover my expenses on advertisement on facebook so we we spend lot of money on facebook and um, now i am getting more comfortable doing this workshop on zoom because I used to do a lot of workshop before, but now I am getting little used to it. We had initial hiccups here initially because we started after two years doing workshop. One over session I have done a lot. So anybody interested, talk to Ajmat. Is the time over, Ajmat? Yes, sir. Ajmat, contact details for clarification. Give you a number on the group also, and here also again. Ajmat, type it again. Type your number also. Give me your number also. This thing which I am doing, teaching hypnosis, NLP, law of attraction, is my passion. My passion. I started working with the sports people free, initially free. Then I find out when I work free, they are not serious. So now I started charging them. I'm interested thing about golf is, you know, what I really enjoy in golf. I don't charge them a session fee. I charge them. Percentage from their earnings. And one of the golfer paid me 18 lakh rupees in 2014. In one year, 18,000 from the percentage, and my percentage was only 5 percent. So multiply by 20. Guess how much he made? I work with uh, Vijay the boxer. I work with a uh, lot of cricketers. I work with a uh, even <coughs> of golfers, Jim uh, Milka Singh, Sanjeev Milka Singh. Ganjit Bullar, full of this thing here. So I love working with the sports. Still, I work with a lot of golfers here. So any golfers and cricketers and you know badminton player, tennis player. One of my tennis player, he came to me in 2012. He has not won a tournament. Ah, uh, Ajmat, again type your number. Nilima ji is asking for the number. You can personally, if you can type her and give the number, also will be good. Okay, Ajmat, is the time up or still some time there for the people to buy products? Yes, sir. Huh? Few more minutes. Okay. Let me have a glass of water in the meantime. Ah. Okay.
to date after the two sessions my camera is working properly as i was last two workshop the video quality was not good because my face was coming black here now we adjust a little bit next session will be better and then we may repeat some of the session in the future but mostly my goal is not to repeat i have tons of material to teach i mean to this field since 1972 many of them are born also that time and i have my books videos and things which i imported and got from abroad it is more than one cr what more than one cr in fact one of my friend i came to um meet me from uk very famous hypnotist there and when he came to my office room he saw my books which ever books he was talking i was taking out and showing it to me was surprised and shocked you know, nobody in the world has that kind of collection with him the most website detail type for those graphics ever okay i'm sure all of you really enjoyed we had a lot of fun when more and more learning this time now your job is to come to the next workshop and don't come alone give it to other people as much website which is the right link yes deepagarwal.com/jnlpp double p j for zoom and if you want lp second p for product page or if you just type deepagarwal.com which is my website Come to that. Okay. Is the time over, Ajma? Yes, sir. Okay. I wish you all the success. See you on most probably on Tuesday. We we'll let you know next weekend. We are doing a workshop on self hypnosis. We will put you in the loop. We have a different group. We we'll send you a link to join that group. And when you join that group, we will share the Zoom link on that group. And all the handouts will be in that group. Okay. So see you soon personally. All the best. Enjoy and good night. Thank you very much. Thank you.